I'm here at Sincere Milk Farm, and today I'm doing a video on goat breeding. Um, I have a doe here. Um, she was she's not our doe. She was brought to our farm um, to be bred. We offer stud service here. Um, and uh, today's video is just going to talk about the signs that you look for, um, how you know your doe's in heat, and um, it, I'm actually going to do a video of the actual breeding process. Um, if one of the uh, one thing I wanted to say, um, does, uh, goat does go into heat every 21 days approximately, give or take. Um, and they have monthly heat cycles like humans, so if you miss a month, um, you can always breed them the following month. And it makes it easier if you want to stagger the goats in your herd. If you don't want them all to breed at the same time, um, you can, you know, breed one month, one month and um, in the next month breed another one and so forth. Um, most breeds of goats uh, have an actual breeding season which usually runs from September to about February. Nigerian dwarfs are a little different. They actually go into heat all year long. So um, as long as you know they're in their proper time during the month um, you can breed them. Um, they're not you know, year-round, you don't have to worry about seasonal breedings. Um, although some people still choose to breed them in the fall and then have so that they have babies in the spring. One thing I personally recommend is that you don't breed them um, when you're going to have babies in the coldest months of the year, which would be January um, and early February. So um, a lot of times the survival rate isn't quite as good unless you have a heated barn. Um, or you're going to bring them inside your basement, um, then then that's fine. But if if you're planning on having them out in the cold, unheated barn, it's just not. It's best not to have any January or February kids. So um, late February and March, um, and, so, and then so on is is usually a good time. Uh, we often have babies born in April and May. That's what seems to be our our top time to have babies born. Um, and uh, goat pregnancy is five months long um, so when you uh, breed your doe you want to count ahead five months and um, so you'll know about the approximate time that they'll have to be born um, but anyway as far as this doe is concerned she's been in heat all day um, she already has been bred actually several times by our buck Dante um, and uh, just some things you want to look for and I was hoping she would do it as I'm filming here but she, oh there she goes a little bit the, the, her tail, the does, um, when they go into heat, they wag their tails a lot. And Now wagging tails, they can wag their tails for all kinds of reasons. They can wag their tails when they're excited about something. Um, sometimes when they even, when they meet other does. Um, but the main thing you want to look for is when they're wagging their tails constantly. So, um, she, that, that's the first thing I noticed when I came out this morning was, was that she was just wagging and wagging and a lot of d does the other thing they do a lot is they vocalize again this one was a more quiet doe um, she didn't make a whole lot of noise but um, I've had where some of the does are very very loud and almost obnoxiously loud um, so that's a it's a very good indicator um, a third sign and my does usually don't have this but you can or at least not until they're ex right when they're exposed to the buck but um, is they have a lot of uh, mucus coming out um, of their back end. So um, a lot of times when when they get around the buck, you'll see that it'll be clear and stringy. Um, that's just a sign you can cross check with the other signs. Um, and the final final probably the the most important sign in my opinion would be they're willing to accept the buck. A, a goat goat that's not in heat will do everything in her power and she'll fight almost like a wild animal to get away from the buck when he's trying to breed with her. You can't go by the buck, the buck's behavior, because um, my bucks, and I think most people's bucks, are pretty much willing to breed them anytime, whether they're in heat or not, um, if they'll let them. But a doe that's in the most fertile point in her cycle um, is what's called standing heat. And standing heat will actually allow her to stand um, and not at all be bothered by the buck when he wants to breed her. So 
there was the tail a little bit you saw there probably um but like i said now she's i think she's probably coming out of it she's she's been bred numerous times and i again um since early this morning i should have gotten this video earlier but i wasn't able to today um so we're going to bring dante in and um just let them breed and i'm going to film that and then um i can just mention a few other things so i'm going to get her down here my daughter's going to bring dante in come on come on down can i come down if she doesn't come down from on her own then um Don she'll come down probably see she's already perking up dante's coming in you can let him off the leash this is one of our du bucks uh dante um He's actually the son of our other buck, Cowboy. Um, he's just sniffing around. He's looking for her. We're getting a third buck um, next month. He's a baby. Um, so we'll actually eventually have three breeding bucks on our property. Um, but yeah, see, here he comes. He's looking around. He knows she's in here somewhere. And we'll see if she... You going to come down and see your boyfriend? Come on. I'm just going to grab her collar and kind of lead her down here. Come on. They have a nice little ramp that they go up and down. So here comes Dante. See if I can actually catch this here. Oh, the tail's wagging. He's sniffing at her. See how that tail's really nasty? When he comes at her, you can really see that tail wagging. Now see this. Yeah, there's a couple things I want you to see on here. Yeah, that tail's going for a mile a minute. Now watch. Oh, you see how he threw his head back there? And you see how she's arching her back? Those are very positive signs. When a doe is bred, um, it actually causes contractions in her uterus and it causes her to arch the back. And whenever the buck is successful in his breeding, he throws his head back just the way he did a couple minutes ago. And um, that, those are things that I always look for um, because sometimes they're on them and, and they're mounting them and um, it doesn't, it, he, they, they try it and it's not a successful breeding. But when you see them, the, the male almost always throws his head back um, and you can see he's not quite as aggressive either as, as he was a couple minutes ago. Now, give him a couple minutes to build up his stamina again, and he'll he'll be trying to breed her again. But um, but that and that thing too, that arching of the back is a very very um, good sign that you know that the breeding was successful. So thank you for watching. Um, again, this is we're here at Sincere Milk Farm, and this is Andrea signing off.